Hi, my name is Erica Ulrich and I'm one of the co-founders of The Mom Life. I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about the legacy that we leave our children. The Bible says that without vision, people perish. And so for a big job like motherhood, we're going to need a pretty big vision. One of the best analogies I can think of to motherhood is a really, really tough workout. I do this terribly hard hit workout every Tuesday night. One of the members of our The Mom Life chapter is actually a trainer and I go and take her class and it is just awful. It's burpees and lunges and squat jumps and it's terrible. And the whole time I feel like I'm gonna throw up, but I can somehow make it through. And I figured out the reason why is because I know it's going to end. The trainer's counting down 10, 9, 8, and I know that at some point this is going to end. But that's not true of motherhood. Motherhood doesn't end. It's an eternal job, but it does have an eternal payoff. And so I wanted to talk about what that eternal payoff is. For me, my big vision for motherhood is what I'm going to leave my children when I'm gone. I want them to have the confidence and the love and the character and the grounding in Jesus that when I'm gone for generations and generations to come, we're creating and seeing beautiful families being born and coming into this earth. And when I'm looking down from heaven, I can be so, so proud of what I left behind. I know that not all of us have had great parents, and so it's hard to think about what we're going to leave our children when we have something that wasn't great that was left to us. And I am not one of those people. I'm super blessed. I have fantastic parents. My mother's amazing. My dad is the cutest grandpa you've ever seen. But at the same time, I still have things from my childhood that I can look back on and go, yeah, that kind of sucks. But I know that there's people who have even worse experiences than that. And so I want to make sure that I first acknowledge that and that I know not everyone had perfect parents, but we all have a perfect God. And he loves us so much that he sent his son to die for us so that we could be adopted into his perfect family. And so while none of us have perfect earthly families, we all get to have the beautiful inheritance that Jesus died for us to claim. And so I want you to take a moment and let that sink into you that even though you may not have been given a perfect inheritance from your parents, God cares about you and loves you so much that he died for you to have the greatest inheritance you could ever imagine. And so you can receive that and know that you are so powerful to be the greatest mom, even greater than you could have ever dreamed you could possibly be, because you've been given all of these great qualities of God himself. He has amazing father qualities. He has amazing mother qualities, believe it or not, that he has put inside of you when he adopted you into his family. So you are powerful to do what I'm going to talk about next here. And because you have been adopted, one of the keys that I wanted to talk to you about in leaving a legacy for your children and creating those children that have this beautiful character, this amazing culture in your home, is giving them that sense of belonging. Children need to know that they belong in order for them to behave. And without that belonging sense, what they're doing basically is just following your rules while you're there. And if you're not there, they're probably not following your rules. And so I don't want to have a child that just listens to me when I'm around and then when they're out in the world, they're off doing their own thing. I want them to have this culture of Jesus, this character of just richness and beautiful things inside of them. So when I'm not around parenting them, they're still making amazing choices. They grow up to be amazing parents because they have this culture inside of them. And we, need, we do that by letting them know that they belong in our family culture. Um, and one of the best ways to create that sense of belonging is to speak prophetically over our children. And what I mean by that is that we find the amazing goal that God placed in their hearts and we call it forth. My kids can be little stinkers. I have two boys. I have a four-year-old and I have an 18-month-old. And my oldest son has the most amazing, super strong will that I, he's going to be a CEO one day. I just know it. He's super, super strong. But at the same time, him and I can go up against each other like this sometimes. And his listening sometimes isn't the best. But I like to remind myself and program my brain every morning when I wake up that I'm going to call forth good things in my son. Instead of speaking the negative I see, I'm going to speak positive even if I'm not seeing it. I'm going to speak it forth because my tongue is powerful to speak into his life and to create the reality that I wish to see. So instead of telling him, 
gosh, you never listened to me. You are being such a brat right now. Why did you do that? You're not being a good brother and just harping on negative. I tell him, you know what, Noah? You're a really good brother. You're a really good listener. You're a really good boy. You're a really strong boy. I love it how you listen to me. Even if it's not happening, try it on your kids. I actually call it the Jedi mind trick. I am Jedi mind tricking my son. You are a good listener. You are a good boy. You are powerful to make good decisions. And it says in the Bible that life and death is stored in our tongue, that we can speak life. And so let's choose that. Let's choose to speak life over our children today. And I bless you that the inheritance that you were given by Jesus, you're going to leave that to your children and it's going to be so, so beautiful. And I hope that you have the best day ever with your kids today.